everybody, it's Kira and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my March haul for you guys. I got a couple of books in the last month that I am very excited about, so uh, yeah, let's just get to it. I think these will be in the order that I got them, but I'm not 100% sure. But first up we have All My Rage by Saba Tahir. This book came out, I think it was like the 2nd of March or something. Um, it's Saba Tahir's newest book, which I was so excited for it. It's her first contemporary, which is very different than the fantasy books that she normally writes. Saba is like my one of my absolute favorite authors. I just love the way that she writes. Her writing style is just so gorgeous and just pulls you in, like sucks you into the story. And um, I felt that with Ember and this one was no different. I don't want to say more because I um, did finish this. I think I read it in like a day or two. Um, so I'll talk about it more in my wrap up. So uh, check that out if you would like to hear my actual like full thoughts on that. But the, just suffice it to say this book is incredible and amazing and I just loved it so much. Then my library had a book sale, which is always dangerous, but I only got three books, which is kind of impressive, honestly. And there are three different kinds of books, too. So first up, we have Bitter Blue by Kristen Kishore. This is the, um, I think the third one. Yes, the third one in the Graceling series, which now has more books that I have not read yet. But I've read the first three, so Graceling, Fire, and Bitter Blue. I did not own this one, so I'm very excited to now have a copy of it and complete my collection with the old covers. They also did like a redo of the covers with the fourth one that just, that came out. And I think there might be a fifth one coming out too. I don't really know, but it's set in a fantasy world where um, people, certain people have um, two different colored eyes and that's how you can tell that they are a Graceling, which means they have some sort of power. And um, it's very good. I quite, quite, quite enjoy the series. I think I read them for the first time when I was actually in Oxford a couple years ago, which was super cool. But yeah, I've been dying to get this book and just like haven't gotten it yet. So now I have it finally. Then we have The Summer I Turned Pretty by um, Jenny Han. So this is getting turned into a show, a movie, something on HBO, I want to say. I don't remember. I actually have not read any of Jenny Han's other books um, other than the um, To All the Boys series. So it's been like kind of on my list of my TBR list. Like I want to get to it eventually kind of a thing. But um, now that it's getting adapted, I am quite excited to eventually read this and be able to watch the adaptation. So I believe there's two or three books in this series too, but I'm not 100% sure. But I just have the first one now. And then we have a book that I know nothing about called Tell the Wind and Fire by Sarah Reese Brennan. Um, so I just picked this up randomly because it looked really interesting. So it's something about how um, there's a city divided between opulent luxury in the light and fierce priv privations in the dark. A young woman survives by guarding her secrets. So she is born in the dark, but like lives in the light side. I don't know, it sounded kind of interesting. I know nothing about this. I've never heard of it before, but I'm very excited to read it. Then I went and bought for myself Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon. This book is so good. I think it's in my February wrap up, um, but I read this book earlier this year and fell in love with it. It is so cute and amazing and the main characters are so good and there's a little bit like just a little bit of magic that um just makes me so happy but then like there's all this dancing stuff which i just love ah it's so cute and so amazing and i was like i just need my own copy so i finally just went and bought one and then the last two are actually a little bit different as well so my birthday is in april but one of my internet friends shelly actually got me an early birthday present because we were talking about the fact that my birthday was coming up so she went and got me things, which I was like, Shelly, you did not have to do that. But she did, and I'm very excited about them. So first up, so we've been talking a lot about poetry. Um, both of us are kind of interested in poetry, and I've been like dabbling in writing poetry a little bit. So she got me two poetry books, which is really so sweet. So the first one is The Sun Will Rise and So Will We by Janae Cecilia. She has, um, Shelly bought herself the like companion that's about the moon. Um, so I don't, I don't know anything about this, but it's like shorter poems like that kind of, and then like, um, some drawings and stuff too. So 
I'm very, very excited to start reading this and um, I probably will annotate it actually because there's like so much room on the bottom of these pages that I would love to annotate this one. So I think that would be fun. But yeah, so I have this one. And then she bought herself the same copy of the book, All Along You Were Blooming, Thoughts for Boundless Living. This is by Morgan Harper Nichols. Um, this one is just gorgeous. They have like drawings and like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. But this is another book of poetry. Um, but she bought herself the same copy so we can um, like share our thoughts and stuff. So I, I have the best internet friends ever and I'm so, so incredibly grateful to Shelly for um, buying these for me. I, they make them like extra special. So yeah, those are all the books that I got in the month of March. Comment down below, let me know if you've read any of them or if you know anything about uh, this one. <laughs> if you happen to have heard of it and think it's good or not, uh, let me know. I'd love to chat with you down in the comments below. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to follow me on social media, all my links will be in the description as always. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!